In this video we share Catholic mystics on the tribulations upon us. Credible Catholic mystics, some of them stigmatics backed by priests, that we have entered the era of tribulations that would pave the way for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. But the tribulation part is something we should brace for. One mystic said the time of divine mercy has already given way to divine justice. Likely so, as even during the time of Saint Faustina Kowalska, Jesus Christ said the time of mercy was already being prolonged. And that was almost a century ago. Recall Saint Faustina's account, I saw the Lord Jesus, like a king in great majesty, looking down upon our earth with great severity, but because of his mother's intercession, he prolonged the time of his mercy. I do not want to punish aching mankind, but I desire to heal it, pressing it to my merciful heart. I use punishment when they themselves force me to do so, my hand is reluctant to take hold of the sword of justice. Before the day of justice, I am sending the day of mercy. I am prolonging the time of mercy for the sake of, sinners. But woe to them if they do not recognize this time of my visitation. Divine justice is upon us. The recent messages from heaven leaves no room for doubt. On August 24, 2021, the Blessed Virgin Mary told mystic Jizal Arcadia. My daughter, thank you for having welcomed me into your heart. I come to you to warn your brothers and sisters once again to stay united. The times to come will be worse than these, the catastrophes that you will witness will hurt you very much. I weep because I see all this, I also see how sin is spreading in the world. Now there is no more conscience, no more mutual respect, you are confused and frightened, you struggle and despair without understanding that Jesus is the only way, truth and life. Not all things have been revealed to you, gradually, when you are strong and able to take them in, you will know other things. My daughter, you must tell your brothers and sisters not to abandon the faith, but to cling to it. You will have to forgive one another, because when the time comes you will need to be ready. Divine justice is upon us. You do not have much time left, settle things as soon as possible, especially what is troubling your hearts. Make a good confession, follow the true magisterium of the church, convert soon, because there is no more time, think more about your spiritual life. My children, the din of wars is beginning to be heard, but do you not understand that the world as you know it will no longer be there? My son Jesus will come in justice, this humanity is not freeing itself from sin and so I ask you, children, pay attention, the way to be taken is the way of good, and if you are wondering what that is, I tell you to follow the gospel and the Ten Commandments, and whoever will not be afraid and will strengthen their own faith, will have graces in abundance. I therefore ask you to stay in God's love. Now I bless you, in the name of the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Then last August 22nd, our Blessed Mother, in her message through mystic Marco Ferrari, appealed for love for each other amid trials. I find it unusual that the Blessed Mother said goodbye in this message, as follows. My dear and beloved children, I thank you because today you have again come up here in prayer in expectation of my message. My children, in this world where hatred and confusion prevail, I urge you to be a gift, my children not only for those you know and who are close to you, but for everyone, for everyone. And especially for those who suffer. My children, often draw near to the Eucharist, he gives himself to you, receive and take Jesus into the world by giving yourselves, together with him who is in you, to your brothers and sisters who are living far away from him. My children, I invite you to spread love around you, in your families and parishes, in the places you frequent, spread love with gestures of love and mercy, spread love with the fragrance of prayer, with humble witness, with consistency towards the gospel and with your total gift. My children, I am always close to you, I never leave you on your own, I am helping you in these difficult times and I urge you to have faith. I bless you from my heart and I invite you to take my blessing to the world, I bless you all in the name of God who is Father, in the name of God who is Son, in the name of God who is the Spirit of Love. Amen. I caress you, I kiss you and press you to my heart. My children, I love you. Love Jesus. Goodbye, my children. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, 
Queen of Peace, pray for us.